I think the most important one is, is the question about its authenticity. Is it, in fact, compliant with Sharia? And there are a number of ways to determine whether or not that's the case. The other question, of course, is whether or not the company is, in fact, um, competitive whether it provides services in the same way that uh, its conventional counterpart provides services. Uh, does it have an IT department? Is it responsive? Uh, can you uh, get customer service? Uh, can you get satisfaction if you're dissatisfied? All of those things are important. So in the same way that um, you find yourself either happy or unhappy with a conventional financial product provider, the same criteria should be applied to an Islamic finance provider.